Today I'll be doing a demo of the HTC Diamond Touch. I'll also give you a few tips and tricks of my own that I've learned along the way. So this is the phone. It is charging right now as the battery is dead. And it comes with pretty much everything you could possibly need, one of them being the screen protector. Now I've done a pretty good job putting it on, but you can see that in the top corner here there's a little bit of an air bubble. But other than that, you can really tell it's there, which is pretty nice. It also comes with this little adapter. You can have it even plugged in charging on your computer and in the wall jack uh, if you'd like and be listening to mp3s or be on a headset. It's pretty much everything you need here, every size, every shape. And they also come with your very own headphones. I haven't used these yet so I can't tell you if they're any good. And it comes with the USB cord which you can plug right into your computer. Or you can plug the end of the USB into the wall adapter and the prongs actually fold back so it's nice for storage. Now when you plug this into your computer you can easily put data on it, take data off, whatever you like. I have a little boy who's five so it works very well for me because I'm always taking pictures and video. The video um, is pretty good. The pictures are 3.2 megapixels and they're pretty decent but I did notice while I was at the aquarium that the colors were quite dull and it wasn't until later I realized that you can actually change a lot of settings including contrast, brightness, color, etc. So that's something you might want to check out before you go take a bunch of pictures with it. It also comes with a case and this case has just got the velcro front on it and a clip on the back if you want to clip it onto your belt loop but I wouldn't recommend that. It's kind of dorky. The inside has um, some nice soft cloth on it and it's great because you are going to get a lot of fingerprints on this phone. I'd recommend buying um, one of those glass cleaning claws and keeping that with you at all times. Unless you're like me and then you just use the bottom of your shirt. As long as it's 100% cotton you must be okay. Uh, other than that, um, it comes with the software and it comes with the um, instructions. There's also an online manual and then it's got the little comfy earbud covers as well. It does come with an extra stylus which is pretty nice because you just never know if you're going to lose it. So this is what the phone looks like. That's the front, that's the back. This little button on top here will wake it up because it is sleeping a lot of the time. None of these buttons are going to do anything for you. You gotta push this one. You could also take the stylus out which is located here. It comes out quite easily and it wakes it up. Now, uh, you're probably going to have a bit of a problem seeing this, so I'm going to try moving the camera and see if you can get a better look. I am going to have to put it at an angle, I think, one way or another. Oh, there we go. That's not bad. Okay, so we'll just take a quick look here. This is the main startup screen and it's your home as you can see by the little icon it looks like a house i got a picture of the family here now this has your clock and calendar and all that stuff but you can flick it down and have it uh, the clock read this way if you like as well up here there's a bunch of information you will need um, there's volume settings etc battery life you can also click here it'll tell you any programs if they're running and your memory is here as well. So this talks about um, basically how much memory you got going on left and this is your storage card they call it. I've got 2610 uh, meg left here. I do have a lot of mp3s and pictures and video etc on here. Um, there's 4 gig on board. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of that. I would prefer to have a removable memory card, a mini or micro SD would be nice. Unfortunately, it does not have that, so it's a little disappointing. So we scroll over here, and now we're into the contacts. These are my favorite contacts. And I will let you know, you can go into all people here, and then it'll give you a list. And down this side here, there's all the letters of the alphabet, and you can easily, easily touch them and find people quite quickly. Uh, when you're entering contact information, there's lots of information you can enter from phone numbers, fax numbers, email addresses, um, home address, company address, what position they work in, uh, if they have a spouse, if they have children, if they have uh, anniversary, birthdays, everything you can imagine is great. But I will give you a tip. If you do enter their picture, 
in this area where you're entering a new contact, for instance, like this, um, you will find that when you go out and you go back, let's say, to the favorites page, you'll find that the picture is pixelated and blurry. The way to fix that is to click menu on the bottom. And at the very bottom, it says change picture. I am sorry that this is so blurry, but it will rectify the problem, and that's quite nice. Even though it is something mundane, it did drive me a little bonkers for a bit there. Then the next one is messages. You'll find your text messages. So far, I've found that I can't receive picture messages for some odd reason, but I have no problem receiving just regular ones. And then this is your mail. I haven't set that up yet. Then you've got your phone and your video and um, your albums as well. And you can just flick through if you like, like this, and take a peek at what you get. Uh, you can also view these full screen by just tapping, I think it is, once on them, and you can flip it. So I'll tap on this one here. Oh, there we go. So I can, ha I can view it this way, which, sorry, you can't see this very well, but I can also flip it over and view it full screen. Oh, you can't see very good, sorry. Anyways, that's just the gist of it. Okay, so then we can move over here to music. And you can play some songs if you like. Uh, let's, let's see here. I'll play you a song. You can actually flip through these two, I believe. Oops, sorry. If I push OK here, that should play. There you go. So this is one, two, three, four. And I believe you can fast forward through by just Oh, there we go. So I can skip through some of the songs. And I can pause it. And then we can go over here to internet and take a look. I can launch the browser and show you what that looks like. It's pretty decent. And if some text is really small, you can always just tap the screen twice and it zooms in to show you more. This is Google, as you can see. I can also flip it over on its side here. Oh, sorry. Jeez, you really can't see. Um, but anyways, you can flip it over and it will change the view. I believe also when you flip it over, you get a full keyboard instead of um, the way that they have it set up normally. Then they have weather, which is nice. It shows you what the weather is like. And I've got a few. You can have lots of different locations. I've got lots here, but one of them is... Uh, one of them is nowhere that I'm near, but I have it on here because I believe it's raining there. Let me just take a look. Ah, yes, there it is. The rain drops all over there, and then the wood. Yeah, there we go. Little window wiper will wipe it all away. It's quite cute. And then you got your settings. One of the great features of this phone is um, you can make your own ringtones. Never have to purchase another one. It even has a program on here for editing. There it is, right this one here. It looks like scissors and uh, MP3 player, it looks like. And you can edit your own MP3s and make your own ringtones, which is wonderful. I love that. It's great. So, I think that's pretty much all I need to do to show you this stuff for now. I'm just going to put that back there. I think it's an excellent phone. I recommend it. There's a few cons. Uh, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the memory aspect of it, and I'm not a big fan of um, the color and stuff for the pictures. Uh, right away, I wasn't sold. It's a little bit better now, but I would prefer that it was a little better. I originally was thinking about getting the Nokia M95. Uh, that's something that's probably got a much better camera on it, and that's one of the reasons I really wanted to get a different phone than the one I had. Um, other than that, uh, yes, the fact that it's always very fingerprinted is a little bit annoying, but it's nothing that a little wipe can't fix. Um, and then the fact that you can't have your own memory card that you can take in and out, not a big fan of that, 4 gig, it's a lot of space, but nowadays you can fill that up so quickly, and it would be nice to have a little bit more room. But uh, I think other than that, that pretty much sums it up. And thank you very much for watching my demo and tips and tricks for the HTC Diamond Touch. Have a great one.